That's the math guy, Steve. Let's try solving this equation. All right, so this one here is a quadratic equation, right? So we got zero on one side. Let's try a factor in the other side. Now, because there's three terms and there's not a one in front, then we try using what's called the AC method, okay? So the AC method says, leave the first term as it is. Leave the last term as it is. Just rewrite the middle term using factors of A times C. So A times C here is 2 times 5, okay? So 2 times 5 gives us... 2 times 5 gives us... So 2 times 5 gives us 10. Okay, got it. So I need numbers that multiply. Give me 10. Combine and give me that negative 11. So 1 and 10 work nicely, but I need negative 11. So that would be what? Negative 1 and negative 10. Okay? So we write that negative 11x as minus 1x minus 10x. Okay? And now instead of three terms, we have four terms. And how we factor four terms is by grouping. All right? So group these first two. What's their GCF? What do they have in common? Well, they both have an x in common. So take an x off of each. What's left? Well, 2x minus 1. Okay. Then group these second two. What's their GCF? What do they have in common? Well, they both have a 5 in common. But since that leaving term has a negative, take the negative along with it. So take a negative 5 off of each. Then what's left is what? 2x minus 1. Got it. And now look it, look it. They both got that 2x minus 1 in common. So pull the 2x minus 1 off of each. If I take a 2x minus 1 out of each... What's left is just the parts in front. That's x minus 5. Got it. So we get 0 on one side. We factor the other side. Set each factor equal to 0. So 2x minus 1 equals 0. And x minus 5 equals 0. And we solve each of those separately. It's so like here, adding one of both sides, 2x equals 1. So x equals 1 over 2. Got it. And here, adding 5, x equals 5. And now we have two solutions to this equation, okay? And then we can always check it by plugging it back in and see if we get a true statement. Always remember, math is everywhere.